So like as we go further. So for these five different properties that a sequence might have, the one, of course, that we're most interested in in our course is convergence. Um, but writing a proof that a sequence is convergent is a challenge, right, as we appreciated over the past week. Um, so what we'd like to know is, are there other properties that a sequence might enjoy that are related to convergence in really, in really deep ways, right? Are there other conditions or combinations of conditions or combinations of properties that are sufficient for convergence? Um, so give me one example of an arrow, an implication arrow, that you can draw between these a couple of these five um, properties that shows that one of these conditions is sufficient for another. So where did you start? Okay, so we have a theorem. This is the uh, Cauchy completeness theorem that tells us that every sequence which is Cauchy is also convergent. Um, let's pause right here. Now is probably a good place to remind ourselves what is the definition for a sequence to be Cauchy, to satisfy the Cauchy criterion. Yes, right. So the idea here, and we're going to just put up the contrast, for all epsilon greater than zero, there exists a capital N such that for all little n's that are greater than or equal to capital N, we have, I'll write this in a different color, absolute value of Sn minus Sm. So now I have to put another letter in here that I forgot. For all n and m that are less than, or sorry, greater than or equal to capital N, that this quantity is less than epsilon. Whereas for the definition of convergence, how is the definition of convergence different? There's no M, right? And the sequence minus... Right. So what's the biggest difference between these two definitions in philosophy? Exactly. Our definition of convergence requires for us to specify what the limit is, right? And so if we write this in vernacular, just using some English, we would say that a convergent sequence is uh, getting closer. The terms of the sequence are getting closer to the limit. Whereas in a Cauchy sequence, what are the terms doing? Getting closer to each other. Getting closer to each other. Great. Exactly. And so, actually, the arrow that we drew on this diagram right now is a big deal. It's a big deal that a sequence of terms which gets closer and closer to each other also happens to get closer and closer to a limit. Right? Why, why might that be surprising, do you think? Let's suppose we have a sequence and I'm just going to write them out in decimal expansion. S3 equals S4 equals. So let's start with 1 and then we'll go, actually no, let's, it's March, let's start with 3 and we'll do 3.1, 3.14, 3.141, 3.142, 3.143, 3.144, 3.145, 3.146, 3.147, 3.148, 3.149, 3.150, 3.151, 3.152, 3.153, 3.154, 3.155, 3.156, 3.157, 3.158, 3.159, 3.160, 3.171, 3.172, 3.173, 3.174, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.175, 3.
if we had to bring its limit into the picture, we could no longer discuss this sequence only on the terms of using rational numbers, right? Um, so if our universe only contained rational numbers, this sequence we could show is Cauchy. For example, if I wanted to get within 0 0.01, if epsilon were equal to 0 0.01, maybe I'll write this in here, then how do I know that there is a point in the sequence, a threshold, such that after that threshold, all of my terms are within 0 0.01. Where might that begin? I would say right about here. Right. Starting from here, n equals 3, and moving on, all terms uh, satisfy Sn minus Sm is less than 0 0.01. Why? Because the first two digits after the decimal never change after that point, right? So we can convince ourselves that this is a Cauchy sequence of rational numbers. And so it meets the Cauchy criterion, but it is not a convergent sequence of rational numbers in the sense that its limit would actually not be rational. We can't use the definition of convergence if our universe exists only in rational numbers at this point. So that's why this arrow is probably the biggest deal on this entire diagram, which is why I'm taking so much time to get on my soapbox about it, right? This is the biggest deal arrow because this is now in chapter two how we resolve the problem of incompleteness that we had in chapter one with the rational numbers, right? The rational numbers are incomplete in the definition of completeness because not every set of rational numbers has a rational upper bound, uh, sorry, a rational supremum, right? Um, but in chapter two, we can now say that not every sequence of rational numbers has a rational limit, even if the terms of that sequence are getting closer to one another. They're not necessarily getting closer to any rational. Right? And so in chapter two, the way that the rationals are completed to become the reals, we can say is that we define the real numbers as the limits of sequences, sorry, the limits of convergent sequences of rational numbers. So here's an example of a, con a sequence of rational numbers whose limit would no longer be rational. And so within the universe of rationals, this is Cauchy, but not convergent. But within the universe of reals, we have this theorem, the theorem that allowed us to draw that arrow to say that Cauchy sequences are, in fact, convergent.